What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got some great news stories for you. New news stories? News stories for you and a bunch of questions. So let's just dive into the tech news. First, our first story of the day has to do with the Samsung Galaxy Watch that's coming out, the Watch 5, and also the iPhone watch that's gonna be coming out. So we wanna talk about both of those devices. And this information is coming from Ming Chi Ku, who's a analyst. And he always gives you a lot of Apple information. So let's talk, but he also gives them some Samsung information saying that Apple has canceled the body temperature measurement for the Apple Watch 7 because the algorithm failed to qualify before entering EVT stage last year. I believe Apple Watch 8 in 20, second half of 2022 could take temperature if the algorithm can meet Apple's high standards before mass production. Now, before I re go into that second one, he's just talking about the watch, you'll be able to check your temperature. Like, are you, are you sick? Are you not? Like that kind of temperature. He also goes on to say the challenge is impl implementing precise body temperature measurement is that skin temperature quickly varies depending on outside environments. A smartwatch can support core temperature measurement in terms of hardware, so it needs excellent algorithm to work together. And then his Samsung comment is Samsung is facing this challenge as well. Unlike previous media reports, I think Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 in the second half of 2022 might not support the body temperature measurement due to algorithm limitations. So that being a feature of being able to check your temperature, uh, is amazing, it's so cool. It's it's definitely something that's needed in a smartwatch and makes the smartwatch more valuable. Now, is it going to be there? It's sounding like what he's saying, he doesn't believe it's going to be. Like, I, I, I think if Samsung's not gonna have it, I don't even think Apple will have it just yet. But who knows, sometimes Apple will come out in the future and then Samsung does later on. But if the Apple Watch has it and the Samsung one doesn't, I don't know, that's kind of a big thing. I mean, especially if you're deciding between the two watches and those two platforms, I would choose the one that had it. I, th I would think that's actually kind of cool to have that. That's something I would kind of find valuable to have in a watch. And hopefully it does make its way to both watches. Hopefully it works well in both watches because I personally find it to be a killer feature. Now we always talk about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4 on a quite regular basis over the last few weeks. This time we have a list anyway of the improvements that are coming to basically both of the phones for the most part. Some of this is speculation, but ultimately we've heard things, most of them positive, about what to expect with those phones. So we've got a nice little list created by the Galox. So we'll go through that list and talk about these and kind of rate them on how how likely they are to happen. So, and I, I'll be honest with you, I don't really care about the Z Flip 4. Z Flip 4 sells more. Z Fold 4 is more exciting towards me, but all these improvements are really to do with basically both the phones for the most part. So, better ultra thin glass. We've heard that. I think it's quite likely to have better ultra thin glass, more reliable, lighter, maybe skinnier. Uh, thinner and lighter for the body, we've heard that. I believe that to be true. I think that will come true. A new hinge, so the hinge would be I guess, lighter, smaller, maybe single hinged, but overall just a better hinge overall in terms of the way it's made and the durability and the weight of it. Processor and cooling, very likely. That's uh, So far we're four for four of having these, so it, obviously we'll have a newer processor. Cooling, it seems to always be improved year over year, or at least they say it does. Cameras, that is a huge thing. This is rumored to have Galaxy S22 Ultra type cameras at the very least, S22, S22 Plus, but lately we've been hearing S22 Ultra type cameras on the front and the back of these phones. Durability, we've kind of spoken about it, but yes, it's supposed to be more durable now in the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And then some small improvements are battery life. Battery life, potentially 100 more milliamps, especially on the Z Flip 4, Z Fold 4, Maybe not, might be exactly the same as what we get with the Z Fold 3. Display aspect ratio, there's been rumors, we've seen you know some sketches basically that it might be a little bit more squared off or a little bit shorter and fatter per se with this phone versus last year's phone or the new phone that's coming out. So that would make the front display bigger and this be a little bit wider so it might work better with and be more, be more usable the design, 
we haven't really heard, heard too much about that. I don't think that that's something that's gonna change all that much. Maybe on the Z Flip 4 a little bit in terms of the way the displays look, but I guess you could throw that into the aspect ratio with the design for the Z Flip 4 as well. S Pen, there's rumored to be no S Pen inside the Z Fold 4 currently at the latest rumor. So I wouldn't say that's gonna be an improvement. I would expect it to be the exact same kind of S Pen as last year, maybe a little smaller. Charging speeds, we haven't heard anything about that, but I would expect that to change. Currently it's 25 watts and 15 watts on the Flip 3 and Fold 4, it's 25 watts. Fold 4, I believe, will get 45 watt, and I believe 25 watt will come to the Flip 4. And those are basically the improvements that we're looking at for that phone. So your question of the day is, what's the most exciting improvement coming to the phone? Um, I've kind of said it before, for me it's probably gonna be the cameras but let me know about you guys in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that. I am really sorry if my voice is really hoarse right now. I don't have water next to me and it is literally 5.07 in the morning. It's really early. Um, first question comes from Tim Hunton and I have a cold. On my S22 Ultra in settings under display, it has Screen resolution, where is it on the Z Fold 3? It does not show up. It doesn't have it on the Z Fold 3. Why? Probably because the screen is a little bit bigger and they treat it like a tablet. The tablets, you can't lower the resolution either. So it's you're not missing anything with the Z Fold 3. It's just not there. No one has it. Zach asks, how much will the Z Fold 4 be? Uh, we would be better than the 3 Fold 3. I don't know what you mean by that. So the price of it, I believe, um, I'd like to see it at 1500 It's not going to be that. It sounds like it's going to be $1,699 or $1,799 for starting prices. Rina and Delion says, next month I'm going to buy the S22 Ultra. Do you recommend to me to buy it from my carrier, which is T-Mobile or Best Buy? I mean, whoever gives you the best deal is what I would say. I, I don't know what their current deals are in both carriers or both stores. Um, you might even want to look at Samsung. Samsung Blue sells a T-Mobile version as well. You might even be able to get a good deal through them with freebies. So look at Samsung.com as well. <clears throat> Jessica says, I have the Liberty 3 Pro earbuds. I could control the volume on the earbuds and also separately on the phone itself, making the buds much louder, but it won't work. I turn volume up and the buds, it goes up on my phone. They're no longer separate. I have absolute volume disabled. What could cause the problem? I have reset the buds and still not working right. Tra well, if you've already reset them, that means you had to reconnect them. So I was gonna say disconnect them and reconnect them. Maybe it's a bug or, I can't, doesn't that phone, doesn't that, don't those have a, don't, doesn't those buds have an app? If they do, I download the app and see if you can notice any settings in there. Otherwise, I'm not too sure. I'd have to fiddle with it myself. And our last question from Goon Squad, do you use beta on your iPhone 13 Pro Max? No, I don't use any beta software on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Thanks for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the word question, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.